Great is our God and greatly to be praised. You know, Psalm 119 has 176 verses, and every verse has something to do with the law, the judgment, the word. Everyone refers to the word of the Lord. And in verses 71 and 72, we come upon, it is good for me that I've been afflicted, that I may learn thy statutes, that I may learn your word. And therefore, we understand from this that you, you are chastised to learn. As human beings, we are sometimes very stubborn, you know. We are reprimanded, we are given advice, but we choose to ignore the instructions and continue in our way. So too, as children of God, many times God speaks to us, advises or instructs us, but we continue to disobey God's wishes and to scoff at his laws, like any loving father would do. God takes the time to correct us. As a parent, you are sometimes confronted with the task of disciplining your child so that he learns a valuable lesson. This is never easy. As sometimes you may have to allow him to go through pain, hurt, or failure. So too with our Heavenly Father. Sometimes God allows us to go through afflictions so that we may learn to keep His commandments. This does not mean that God does not love us. It is simply His method of showing us what is right and what is wrong. It is His way of keeping us from doing the wrong things. We can use an everyday occurrence as an analogy. If you get stung by a bee once, you will ensure that from then on you keep away from the beehive. And at the end of the day, you will agree that being stung worked out for your good. Let us thank God for correcting us. And let us thank him for the method he chooses. At the time appointed, you too will say that it was good that you had suffered. It was good that you had been stung because now you know to give heed to the statutes of God. Father, thank you for reminding us about the potency of your word, how powerful it is, and yet we can hide it in our hearts that we may not sin against thee. Amen. Here's my thought for today. I have learned thy righteous judgments, O Lord. They have challenged me to keep thy word. Have a great, godly, and perfect day.